Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode 20. Uh, I wanted to put this out a lot earlier, but there's been a ton of things happening in the background, and I promised you guys that this would be a special one, that there would be an announcement of some sort to make this super duper huge, and I was waiting for that to happen before I came out and dropped this one. So um, before I go and tell you all the amazing things that has happened <laughs> this week, um, let's talk about the films we will be talking about today. Um, and they're two completely opposite ones that, I mean, they kind of have something in common. Very, 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 very little. Um, and the first one is going to be the 1978 Spanish Giallo that's considered a lost film or lost Giallo that is on Screenbox and it's called Trauma. Um, and then the other one is... 1981 road games um and i feel like everybody has at least seen road games whether it be the remake or whether it be this one and i'm gonna hope that it was this one <laughs> that we're gonna be talking about today um and they're kind of loosely tied with with killings but there being some sort of mystery involved one is a giallo and one is a mystery thriller or ride, essentially. Um, and before we start jumping into all the good things and talking about this, I do want to give one second to our sponsor for this video. Hello. Let's take a second to talk about our sponsor for this video, Dubby Energy. This is a drink that has helped me kick 100% all soda. I don't crave soda anymore, and if I try to go drink a, uh, any soda, I get a really bad taste. Like you can taste the syrup and all the sugar that's in there. But Dubby, it's like more water than anything else, so it's super hydrating and keeps you hydrated. And it also gives you clean and very natural energy. Um, there's no sugar, no fillers, no artificial dyes. It's just powder, you put it in a drink, Shake it all up. There's a little ball inside that mixes up uh, the powder with water, and um, you're good to go. Um, it was um, a long time coming, honestly, for me to kick soda because I was addicted to it, and I would have it almost every single day, multiple times a day. Um, I still drink coffee, and that's something I don't think I'm ever going to kick because I enjoy my coffee, and when I don't want you know, an energy drink, and I want something you know, a little bit bolder. I would have a coffee and um, that also gives me a lot of energy but not as much as this but coffee sometimes i can come down and i can crash pretty hard but if you're looking for a nice clean energy try out dubby uh, you guys will come on down very nice and smooth no jitters no headache nothing um when i drink this whole thing of dubby i have about five to six hours worth of energy and i come down very very easily so if you guys are in the market for trying something new, head over to Dubby and use our code BHOPOD for 10% off anything in art. So if you want to go try it, they have free packs. You can get a shaker. If you like it, stick with it. And you can just keep using that code over and over again. And every time you do it, 10% off anything on their site. So thank you, Dubby, and thank you for everybody supporting the show. Thank you for listening to our sponsor. Um, so now I want to talk to you about the good news, the exciting news, what has happened in my life and from this podcast, from this channel, from everybody who listens. Um, I owe such a huge amount of thank yous and just everything. I'm so happy where this channel, this podcast where my love of film and horror and supporting the little guys so much and to supporting Screenbox a lot um, because it is my favorite streaming service out there. I, I love Screenbox so much and what they do for the community, for films, for the fans of films um, to allow people to see films that are from other regions of the world 
um, it's just something you don't see a lot on, you know, streaming services that are like horror based or just streaming services in general. They always want to pick up the things that they know are going to grab a lot, which, you know, Screenbox, they do. They pick up the things that will blow up in a way that's good for them and for the community. Um, but what I'm touching on is that my next event, Pool Party Massacre with Drew Marvick, September 28th in Salem being shown at Cinema Salem. This is my third event of the year. My third live event with a Q&A, signings, meet and greets with the cast and crew of these films. Um, it is now officially sponsored by Screenbox and Bloody Disgusting. And um, I'm so happy that this pitch that I that I you know, put forth with uh, a close friend of mine who works with all of those, Alex DiVincenzo, you are the man. I owe so much to you and, and just how you know, supportive you are of the show and just as a friend in general, help me pull this together. And the cool thing about it is that Screenbox is giving away um, you know, three months free for select people in the audience. And while being there, you, everybody will have a code for you to get um, discounted prices on your subscriptions and to you know, join the Screenbox family. And some other really cool things that are going to be happening. There will be other giveaways that I'm probably going to be doing myself. Um, Drew is like over the moon about this. Um, because for those of you who don't know, and you should know from this series, is that Pool Party Massacre is on Screenbox. And I covered it a couple episodes ago for your summer slashers, essentially. And what's really cool about this is that we are actually ending summer with a slasher, with Pool Party Massacre with Drew Marvick in attendance, with a Q&A, signings. He's going to be having a bunch of stuff there to... Uh, for people to purchase and get signed to be photo ops, everything. Screenbox will be there um, doing what they're doing. And I'll be there, you know, just making sure everything's going nice and smooth and everybody's having a great time. Um, so I'm super duper thrilled and over the moon for the support from everybody, from anybody who listens to the show, who shares the show, watches it on YouTube, watches it or listens to it on Patreon. Um, or on any other service. And one other thing I want to say is that if you guys want early access to all these videos, because I put video and audio formats out, it is on Patreon for $1 a month, and the links are always down below. And um, for everybody who is on there, thank you very much. But enough of me, you know, going on and on and on about all these awesome things. Let's get to the films. That's why you guys are here, right? You want to listen to these listen to me talk about these films and, and, and pitch them to you as to why these are essential picks. All right. So we're going to start off with trauma. And this was told to be a lost film, a lost Spanish Jalo. And it's pretty fun and pretty fucking wild. So here's a synopsis. As written on IMDb, a writer arrives to an isolated boarding house run by a beautiful but strange woman. Shortly after his arrival, guests start to get violently killed. Um, and it's got a rating on IMDb of 5.4 out of 10. And it's directed by Leon um, Klamonski. And um, it's a crazy film. Let's go over to... Rotten Tomatoes, as I don't think Rotten Tomatoes actually has <laughs> a score or anything on here, but I'm going to go and look anyway. Um, yeah, no score, no ratings or anything from either side. Nothing. There's, there's no... There's like no info at all whether it made money or anything. Like I said, I'm pretty sure this was a lost film at some point. Um, we do have a release date on IMDb though, September 11th, 1998. Um, it's Spanish. Runtime is an hour and 27. Um, yeah, it's crazy. And um, quick rundown on this film, why I think you need to go see it, why it's crazy, why it's essential. 
And for those of you who love Jalo, I love Jalo, and I try to watch as much as I can. And whenever there's one that I have never heard of before, and that's not from um, Italy, it's not Italian, it's Spanish, go seek it out. Because obviously, it's not going to be exactly like how they do it over there. This is the Spanish version of a Jalo. Um, so you're essentially following this writer who seems to have ran away from his life, from his wife. He goes here to write, then he meets this woman in his boarding house, and things start happening. She says she has a husband upstairs, and then people start going over to this boarding house because they either run out of gas or there's something wrong with the car. Um, but beautiful scenery, and then there's a lot of a lot of sex. There's a lot of nudity in here. There's a lot of really um, crazy shots that happen. Some pretty cool killings um, that happen, and uh, it's just a joy. It's super duper fun. Something you need to seek out. If you haven't seen this one, please go and watch. If you have seen it, let me know down below what you thought of it. Do you think this is qualified as a giallo? Do you think it should have been named in a different horror category? Do you think it's up par with the Italian giallos? Um, let me know. Let me know. Because um, it's, a, it's a ride. It's definitely a ride. And I don't want to go into too much detail about it. Because I will spoil everything really fast. <laughs> so that's, that's trauma. If, if you like wild rides... Um, crazy kills, you want to see sex, you want to see boobs, you want to see butts, you want to see everything, this this is for you. Go go watch it. I had a, a great time watching this because of everything surrounding it. Um, but moving on to our next film is Road Games. Now on IMDb, this is what it reads as the plot. A laid-back American trucker, truck driver in South Austria... I'm sorry, Australia, starts to su suspect a man driving a green van of killing young women along his route and proceeds to play cat and mouse game in order to catch him red-handed. I have a rating here on IMDb of 6.6 .6 out of 10. Let's go over to Rotten Tomatoes. And um, it's very highly reviewed on both ends. Uh, does not have um, certified fresh, but it is 92% certified um, on there. Well, not certified, but you know what I mean. With 12 reviews, 92%. Audience score, 61%. And that's the audience score, and it's a 1,000 plus ratings. And um, I don't know if they have a different... I sort of do. It said, an Australian trucker, Stacey Kench, picks up a hitchhiking... Um, here is Jamie Lee Curtis in a trail of a killer in a green van. Uh, we do have, it was in theaters February 27th, 1981, limited, limited, and then streaming May 22nd, 2017. It's a runtime of 140, and it is a mystery thr thriller, like I stated earlier. This isn't a full blown horror film or anything like that. Um, it's a fun movie to go around and to see um, Stacy Ketch kind of like really act within within himself, and um, he picks up these these hitchhikers along along the way, and some of them are wacky, some of them are funny. So you're essentially living through the life of a trucker, even though he says he's not a trucker, he's a truck driver, but it doesn't mean he's a trucker. Um, he um, it's it's really cool to see his dialogue, and, and he has a dingo with him. That, you know, in this area, I guess they kill them. But then he finds this person staring out the window of this hotel. And he's looking at the trash. And then he hears that like there's a killer about who's killing people um, and whatnot. It seems to be women. Might be a truck driver, might not be. And um, he, he follows this van and he... You know, comes across police, he comes across Jimmy Lee Curtis, who is labeled as Hitch um, in here, and then she's got a backstory, and you learn about that, and then you get to the, the, the conclusion, which is really fun. It's just, it's one of these films that is now a comfort film, because of how cool it's, it's written. I know this is based off of a book. Um, it was directed by Richard Franklin, and um, written by 
Everett D. Roach and uh, Richard Franklin himself. Um, it's just one of those films that if you haven't seen it, what the fuck are you doing? Because <laughs> it's a great story, a lot of monologues, but they're very fun to listen to. See essentially a solo performance throughout a whole film, and everybody knows how much I love solo performance films. And I guess you can even say, in a way, it's a single location, mainly because it takes place so much in a truck. Uh, he does go out and, and mingle and goes to gas stations and he stops every now and then and he'll run. But it is almost like an isolated single location film because of how much takes place in the, the cab of the truck. Um, it's super fun. There was a remake, I believe, in 2015. It's got Barbara Crampton in it uh, that people also hold pretty high. Um, I have yet to see that one. I have seen this road games in the past, but when I saw that it was on screen, I'm like, oh my God, I need people to go and watch this if you haven't seen it already. Um, so if you're up for a mystery thriller that's not full on horror, but there are some pretty horrific things that happen in this film, go check out road games on screen box. Um, and let me know down below, have you seen it before? Is this something that's been on your list for a while? Um, did you see the remake and you didn't know that this one was there and you didn't know that the remake was a remake and you thought that was the only one? Or are you not a fan of the remake and you like this one? Or are you a fan of this one and not a fan of the remake? Let me know down below. And um, as always, guys, thank you so much for the support, for listening to the show, for supporting horror, supporting indie horror, supporting streaming services that are dedicated to films like this. It means a lot, and it means a lot to them as well. And um, I wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't for all of you out there listening and supporting and coming out to my live shows. I met a lot of people so far that have listened to the show that have been out at these live events. And it's really, really cool to meet everybody face to face. So if you are in the New England area, Massachusetts area, Salem area, come out, buy a ticket. Tickets are linked down below as well as everything else. Um, come out, support some horror. Meet Drew Marvick because this is for him. And um, thank you guys so much for being here. It means a lot. And this next week, there's going to be a lot of really cool things coming out. And uh, I'm excited for everybody to listen and watch and see what's going on. But um, thank you guys so much for being here. I'll catch you on the next one and support horror support indie horror filmmaking everything support screenbox see you on the next one